Freedom Day. I don't feel very fucking free. Ready for my close up. I don't want to hit another pigeon. Will you move? Come on, man. Oh, man. <laughs> They're all coming round here, man. Of course they are. And the van's hanging back to let you guys. Thanks. He didn't want to be kept. Yeah, he's on the camera. <laughs> Thursday, the 24th of February, 2022, and it's Freedom Day here in England. All legal restrictions to do with the pandemic and what's been going on for the last two years have been lifted. Do I feel free? No. Do I feel anxious? Yes. Do I feel like most people with a disability feel the same way? Everyone's going on about, oh, it's Freedom Day, we've got to get on with our lives. But for people with disabilities or who are more susceptible to this virus, we've gone from a state of two years, everyone saying, do our best to protect ourselves, not to catch it, to now pretty much trying to go back to normal and coming to terms with the fact that you probably are going to catch it which okay fine but it's a shift and it's a mental shift and it screws with your head it's screwing with my head I don't want to feel anxious about going out and being around people and mixing but the reality of it is, the reality of it is, I do. And I don't know. I don't know. Can you even see me now? How to change it. We're just going to leave that up because. Back to life. Back to life. I mean, it's inevitable, isn't it? We get, Like they say, we can't do this forever. But also that there, there feels like a disconnect, even though it's Freedom Day for the majority. They don't feel free and they're battling with more anxiety than what I am. And that just feels unfair. And yeah, you can say, we're going to give you more jabs and keep you protected. But how many jabs? How many jabs and how much stuff are you going to put in people's bodies? What do you think? What do you think? Oh, that's cold. It's always cold. Oh, that's cold. Get it in the fridge. Oh, <laughs> four. Well, you're not going to die, is it? I hope not. Is it 
just goes straight around the side. <laughs> Don't know, I'll have to get a jagged line. If you're seeing this, it's probably a mashup of a load of days where I've started to vlog and not finished. But it's footage, so here you go. Who likes muesli? There's a big old nut in there. Cheers. What have I been up to since breakfast? Well, let me show you. Couldn't film it because difficult. Let me show you what I've been doing. That's two bags full of clothes that either don't fit me anymore or I don't wear. And now it's heading to a clothes bank. I was going to put some of it up on Vinted and other sites to try and make some money. But, um, sorry if that made noise then, but my <laughs> my dead cat was falling off the mic. Um, yeah, I was gonna do that to try and make some money, but I just needed the headache out of my life. So yeah, it's gone. All right, come with me now as we drop it off. Does anyone else feel this? Like I love clothes. If you've a, a long, if you're a long viewer of the vlog, then you know that I love clothes. But does anyone feel like an absolute weight lifted off of their shoulders when you just get rid of some shit? I know that I like it, and I find it hard once I bought stuff to get rid of it. But when I do, it's just like, oh. And if I hold on it for if I hold on to it for too long, I end up going back through and finding reasons to keep certain things and I'm just like I don't wear it. I didn't even know I still had it. So what's the point? Yeah, maybe I could make some money out of a few of the things, but oh, I just needed I just needed to out a load of it. So I've done that. And I've created a bit more space to buy some more shit. No, I'm joking. Although, of course I will, because I love fashion, but I'm clothes. And it doesn't have to be expensive, and it doesn't have to be designer. If I find something online or in a shop that I like, whether it's a couple of quid or more expensive than that, if I think I'm going to look good in it and I can make it look good, then I'm going to buy it. When you're younger, I think especially when you're disabled... Um, because you want to fit in, you want, well, like kids and teenagers in general, they don't want to be unpopular, so they want the gear that everyone else has got, but it, it's kind of amplified when you have a disability, because you're trying to show peers and people older than you that like the disability doesn't make you different, you want the same things, you wear the same things, you know, yeah. But as I've got older, it's just about it's just about what you like and what you look good in. And I think that the population in general and people in general are more like that. I mean, I look at some of these like top, top designer things 
that you're spending hundreds of thousands of pounds on some people and um it's like really it doesn't even look that good um uh, some stuff i get it i'm not being funny a lot of balenciaga stuff i do not rate the shoes are weird I've, no i'm not a fan i just don't get it the main thing that i want to get is um some jordans there i've just noticed that there is a guy now looking at me talking to myself on the camera so that's why i'm looking out this window has he gone now he's gone now he definitely he definitely why am i not in focus come on okay i'm going to turn you off and refocus you because it's not working why aren't you focusing there we are we're back we're back in the room i'll leave you then yeah, he definitely noticed me talking to the camera and I had no idea he was staring at me. And uh, even though I've been doing this for like four years properly, when someone's standing right in front of you, like, bogging at you, you can feel it. And, yeah, I don't want to carry on talking to the camera. But we caught some of that. I can't even remember what I was saying. But, yeah, the, the things that I want to buy are trainers. I'm not going to lie. I want to upscale my training game when I've got room and buy some Jordans. I've been watching a lot of um, kick game, kick game, going shopping. And the, the amount of, if I ever get to the point where I've got a YouTube plaque and I'm making uh, money off of this stuff and I could afford to do it, I would love to do that. Do you, some of the people in there, like they spend five to eight to more thousands of pounds on trainers and I mean not everyone's fashion and style and choices are the same but there are a lot of Jordan 1s, Jordan 4s, Jordan 3s that I would buy. Focus, you prick.